Balanced, my name is Morgan and I'm going to be your trainer for this five part series of 15 minute videos focusing on the strength and mobility of your lower extremities, specifically your hips and your knees. So we, this series has been created with you in mind. If you experience any kind of knee or joint pain, or if you're working through some kind of injury in that area. So the things that you need for class today for this first video, just a chair. I have my mat out. It's not necessary for this first class, but know that you'll need it in the classes after this to protect your joints when we come down to the floor. Next, what you can expect in class in this 15 minute this 15 minute quickie is the first part of the class is your warm up as always. It's a little bit abbreviated as it is shorter. The center of class, we're going to focus on strengthening your quads and your hamstrings. And then the last part of class, we will do a static stretch to stretch out your muscles that we just strengthened to get you ready for the rest of your day. All right, I think that's everything. Have your water close by, clear your space, and meet me in the center of the space that you're working in and start at an easy walking pace. Now, this is a 15 minute video and I commend you for turning it on and maybe even going into the next part of the series. However, in order to warm up for a class that will use your lower half, a great way to warm up would be to maybe spend 15 minutes cycling on a stationary bike or possibly taking a walk around your block. Not only does that help with your cardiovascular endurance, but it helps warm up your muscles in a dynamic way, telling them, hey buddies, it's time to go. <laughs> so we've got about 15 more seconds of our walking pace. If it feels good for you, bring your knees a little bit closer to your belly button which will activate through your lower abdominals. You're doing awesome. Keep it going. We're here for four, three, two, and one. From the center of your space that you're working in or holding on to something to help you balance, we're going to take this to a hip opener. So imagine that you're creating a half rainbow with your knee. You're just drawing it in the sky. Good job. Now, I'm not gonna count your reps for this. I want you to listen to your body and feel what it's like to open up for just 30 seconds. The more that you do this, the more that you'll find that your range of motion is continuing to get larger and larger, but don't force it. We wanna feel ease in our workouts, right? And that comes with consistency. We're here for four, three, keep breathing, two, and one, beautiful. Stop with your legs in a capital A. Breathe your hands high over your head. Gorgeous. If you have any type of shoulder issues, bring your hands out in front of you instead. Good job. Now we're going to bend over at our waist and tap three times, stretching through your hamstrings dynamically. So we tap one, two, three, beautiful. And just move through this motion pattern for 30 seconds, team. You're doing awesome. That's right, woo! If you've decided to take this motion from the chair, that's awesome too. Just continue to sit and bend down in front of you. You've got this. We're here for four, three, two, and one. Come on up, team. Bring your hands down to the side and bring your hands to your hips or holding on to your balancing object, whether it's your chair or your kitchen counter or your wall. Let's take it to a hamstring curl. You're going to see this motion a little bit later in our conditioning phase, but not quite so quick. Hamstring curl right and left. You might feel your heart rate start to rise. That's okay, just keep breathing through it. You're doing an awesome job. We're here for four. Three, good, two, and one. Excellent job. Now we're going to a wall push-up to take our heart rate up even more. So meet me over at your wall. You've got this. Bring your thumbs to your nipple line and then press and release. Good. Bringing your chest closer to the wall just for 30 seconds as if your arms are slicing back at a 45 degree angle. Good job. Halfway there. 
with every contraction, remember to breathe out. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Straighten your arms. Come on back to your chair. Adjust if you need to. We're going to finish off our warm up with a calf raise. So, with your feet facing parallel and your hips mirroring what your toes are doing, also facing parallel, as if they were headlights leading you down a dark, dark road, place your hands in front of you and come on up to the ball or highest possible point of your feet. Good. Start slow and feel how this feels in your body. You might already start to be feeling this in your calves. That's okay. Take breaks when you need. Remember, this is just our warm up. Keep breathing. You're doing great. We're here for 30 seconds and you've already done half of those 30. You're doing great, team. Yes. We're here for 10. Almost there. Five, four, Three, two, one. Bring your heels gently down to the floor. Move your chair out of the way or bring it to a place where you can sit on it. We're going to skip an official water break right now, but remember to listen to your body. If you need water in between these exercises, go ahead and take some. Who am I to stop you? And then once you've gotten your water or you've adjusted your space, come on down to a seated position. We are going to focus on a quad extension from a seated position. So very important that you make sure you're nice and stable. We're going to focus on one leg first. This is a unilateral exercise. That's a fun unilateral, unilateral. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> I know I can. Um, from this position, choose one leg. I'm going to choose my left to start with. Flex your foot and then we're focusing on straightening your leg, you'll feel the engagement in your quad, and then we bring it back down. Good job. We're just doing that 10 times this first time through. You're doing great. Here's nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, keep breathing, four, Three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and shake that out. Let's switch to our opposite side. While we're in our chair, we're going to focus on this chair exercise. Are you with me? I know you just said yes. So bring your hands down to your side and let's focus on our right leg. Extend your leg out in front of you, good. Hey, it's okay if it's not the same height or it doesn't straighten all the way. We're focusing on the strength here and also not creating impact. Good. Keep breathing. We've got five more. Five, four, good, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring both of your legs down, shake them out, do whatever you need to do. We're coming back to the back of our chair for a concentrated hamstring curl. Very similar to what we did in our warm up. Now we're just focusing on the strengthening aspect of it. So gently come out of your chair, flip it around. And this time I'm going to start with my left leg again, bringing your left leg behind you with your uh, hips in alignment. Bring your back heel toward your glute. I almost forgot what my heel was called. I tell ya, she's lost it. All right, everybody, 10 on the clock. Here we go. 10, nine, slight bend in your standing leg. Eight, good job. Seven, almost there. Six. Five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. Very good. Switch your weight. Come on over to the opposite side. Extend your opposite leg. Your right is the one that I'm working with right now. Behind you, square your hips and bring your heel to your glute. Here we go. 
Good job. Slight bend in your standing leg. Good job. That's six, five, four. Good job. Three, two, and one. Resist on your way down and shake out your hips. Very, very good. All right, now we're coming to the part, the portion of class that is going to help us measure how strong our quads and hamstrings are getting. We're going to do a wall sit, everyone. I know, wall sits were something that we used to fear in gym class or soccer practice, or something that we used to think of as being a punishment, right? I know I did when the soccer coach would be like, it's if you don't listen, you're going to have to do a wall sit. Well, here, friends, this is our healthy way of checking in with our quads and our hamstrings to see how they're doing and how they're helping us move through every part of our life uh, with a little bit more ease and a little bit more efficiency. So meet me on a sturdy wall. Ah, oh, this one is perfect. I'm going to come and stand and bring my back to the wall and then walk my feet out ever so slightly, just about a foot in front of me. Then I'm going to bend my legs so that my knees are just over top of my heels, right? We don't want them too far over. We don't want them too far back. We want to try to create a 90 degree angle. We're gonna stay here for 15 seconds or as long as you can up until 15, but 15's our max for this video. Take a nice big deep breath in and here we go. I'm watching the clock for you, don't you worry. You're doing great. While you're doing this, I want you to tell yourself something kind about you. Whether it's how you light up a room or the energy you bring to every single day, I want you to give yourself that compliment. And hey, look, we're almost there. You're out in four, three, two, one, gently slide yourself back up the wall or get out of your wall sit in any way that feels the most comfortable to you. Feel free to hold on to your wall as you walk your feet back toward it and come up to a standing position. You crushed that. That's going to be a way that we can come back and mark with how we have been strengthening ourselves. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of our very first installment of our lower body a strengthening series. I hope you're feeling great. Meet me in your chair for our first cool down exercise. Oh, I love when we sit down. Extend your left leg down to the side and bring it up and over top of your head, creating a half rainbow. If you'd like even more of a stretch, go ahead and look up at your elbow. Mm, that feels good and press down through your opposite side. Flip your palm and press it down to your side. Extend the opposite leg, arm. <laughs> Extend the opposite arm and bring it up over top of your head. Half rainbow on this side. I was just making sure that you were paying attention. If you can put your leg over top of your head like this, well, wow, I would like to take a class with you. <laughs> Look up at your L at the inside of your elbow for more of a stretch. Hold here. And then flip your palm and press it back down. Very good job. Extend your left leg out in front of you and hinge forward at your hips. Extend your arms out in front of you or take your peace fingers and walk them down the center seam of your leggings or pants. If you don't have a center seam, just imagine it right down the center of your leg where your calf bone is. And then come to a position where it feels like there's just a little bit of resistance. No burning, popping, or pinching. Just a little resistance. And on your inhale, bring yourself back up. Switch your legs, extend the opposite one, hinge at your hips, and walk your fingers down your leg. Good job. You can feel that active release. Send oxygen to your muscles. Keep breathing, you're doing a beautiful job. Come on up to a seated position on your next inhale. Good job, everybody. Roll your shoulders back for three, for two, 
and one. One big head roll to one side and head roll to the opposite side. Coming back to your center, placing your hands on your body, taking one big inhale in and exhaling everything else out. Opening your eyes and coming back into this place right here. Good job, balanced. I'll see you for video too.